This is a bespoke last. This is made for a particular individual with a particular foot condition and a particular shape. It's the toe shape they like, a heel height they want, and also just an overall feel of what they will like. With bespoke orthopedic, there's a whole added dimension of some kind of foot problem. It could be a bunion or a hammer toe or a congenital deformity or acquired thing like rheumatoid arthritis or diabetes or a road traffic accident, you know, where there's been an industrial accident where the foot has been damaged. So what we're going to show you now is how to measure a foot in order to make a bespoke orthopedic glass. This is much more complicated than just a straight bespoke because we've got to record all of the things that are going wrong with the foot, how we can going to cor correct them, as well as how to make a nice elegant shoe that, faces, uh, that fits that foot. What I have here is the last draft. This is what we're going to talk about learning how to do. It's a tracing of the foot and the measuring of certain uh, bone structures as well as a length measure. This has all the information we will need in order to make a bespoke orthopedic last. When measuring for a bespoke orthopedic last, it's as much to do with palpating the foot, that is, feeling and sensitively exploring the foot to find out where the bony structures are, where the uh, joints bend, where is the soft tissues, where are the firm tissues, and how the foot is going to be manipulated, how flexible it is. A lot of people ask me, will a 3D scanner such as this eventually replace this process? What a scanner does is it measures very accurately the surface of the foot, measures the skin or the sock, but what it doesn't tell you about is what's underneath the skin. So if you look at this, this is a, a, a model of a foot that's had the skin taken off. You can see that it's full of tendons, ligaments, bones and muscles, and uh, flexible joints. Enormous amount happening in there that you don't get with a scan. So the first thing we're going to do is to take a piece of paper and we're going to place the foot on it. We start standing and uh, we take a pen. This pen is um, seven millimeters in diameter, which means that when we trace the foot, the line is half of seven, three and a half millimeters out. As I trace the foot, you can see how the uh, pen is picking up. That bone goes in for the soft tissues and everything like that. This begins to even out um, the difference between, because it's pressing into the side, the soft tissues, the firm tissues, and the bony structures. The pressing I'm doing is also the amount of pressure that I will want the shoe to put onto the foot. And so you can see how by doing this it's as much a feeling exercise as it is an actual recording of the shape, such as the scanner would do. Once I've traced the foot, I can do a, a length measure using a stick like this when the, the client is standing. I then have the client sit, and this allows the whole foot to relax, the arch to come back up. Then I can take a second uh, measure with the foot sitting, for instance, and often find that the foot has got shorter because the arch is relaxed and the foot has come up shorter. Another measure I can do with the foot sitting, because the arch is now relaxed, by having the pen at 45 degrees and 90 degrees to the axis, I can come under the arch of the foot and create a line under there that I can compare with the outside, the distance in from the outside, because the pen's at 45 degrees, is the height. But from those two marks, I can predict the uh, arch shape as well as the outline. The next thing uh, I want to talk about, and uh, 
later I'll show you the specific uh, uh, placement of the bones, is how we actually use a tape measure to uh, measure a specific bone structures. So I know that, um, for instance, where my foot bends is very important. So you can see how my foot rotates and twists and bend. The draft I make is not a recording of any of those shapes, but it is a predictor of all of those shapes. And it's a predictor because I'm actually locating very precisely where the joints are. There's joints here. There's joints here in the foot, all of which change in a very predictable way if you know where they are. So what we're doing is we're taking the tape measure, and here's the capsule, the joint capsule of the big toe joint. I'm wrapping the tape around so it actually captures the roundness of that joint capsule, and then I'm coming around the fifth toe joint, and I'm feeling it, I'll feel it in the foot to find exactly where the center of that joint is, and then I'm wrapping the, the tape around. Later on, I'll demonstrate how, when the foot's been traced, I open up the tape and mark a line. And those two lines tell me exactly where the center of that joint is and the center of the fifth joint. The other thing I do, and again, this differs from a scan, is when I put the tape on, you see it's very loose there. It's, say, it's 239, very loose, or I can tighten it feels about right at 236, or I can pull it very tight at 233. And I get to feel just where the right amount of pressure is. And so I decide at 236, I lay that down, I trace either side, and I write 236 there. That 236 will end up on the last at that position, and then the shoe is made on the last, so the inside circumference of the shoe is 236. So I've chosen the degree of pressure that the shoe will put on the foot. So there's six different circumference measures that we do in the same way. We've got a length measure, we've got the tracing of the foot, and we've got the arch. And uh, here it all is. Uh, that actually is made. I imagine that this was covered in skin and uh, soft tissues under the heel. And that actually is what the tracing of this foot would look like. And here's the last uh, made to that. You can see how the last fits. And so later on, we're going to show you specifically where the joints are and how to do it. After that, we'll show you uh, the whole measuring process from one end to the other in a, a nice, smooth process. And then we'll go on to see how this can be made into that.